when I was sitting here and listening to all these beautiful ladies and also watching you all beautiful ladies listening into these beautiful stories I was thinking I am in some other universe and trust me I'm not lying I have never felt this way petite is the word you know I can see a universe here. You are all galaxies and your families are those stars. It's so bright. It's, it's all visible on your faces. And the stories, I mean, I really want to stand and give you a standing ovation. You are a superhuman. You are a superhuman. Like how ma'am said it, we don't look good one day, my hair is not done well one day, I go bizarre. I don't know what to do. I don't like to talk to people, I don't want to go out. You are a superhuman and so are you, Reverend Maureen. Like you beautifully said that a man goes hunting, he gets just raw meat and you make it a meal. You wouldn't even know there's this French novelist, and I'm going to read him out. Look how energies connect. So his name is uh, Sir William Golding. And this is to all of you beautiful women out there. I think women are foolish to pretend they are equal to men. I'm sorry, men around. I think women are foolish to pretend they are equal to men. They are far superior and always have been. And he's, he's telling how. Whatever you give a woman, she will make it greater. If you give her sperm, if you give her sperm, she will give you a baby. If you give her a house, she will give you a home. If you give her groceries, she will give you a meal. If you give her smile, she will give you her heart. She multiplies and enlarges what is given to her. So if you give her any crap, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's what we are. And it's okay to get angry. It's okay to get stressed. It's okay to get upset. It's okay to cry and howl. What's wrong in that? What's wrong is to not come out of it. And that's what we are supposed to do. When I was pregnant, I got, what, 90 kgs. My weight was 90 kgs. And please understand, I come on TV, so I have to look beautiful. I have to look slim and trim. I can't be one fat soul. But that's not fat shaming. It's my job. I have to look good and I had to shed a lot of weight. But how? I have a child, I have to feed him. How? I, I got, what, cesarean? So, couldn't walk much, couldn't exercise. So I was always very upset. I would want to cry and I would want to say, God, what have you done to me? And one day when I was just sitting and thinking about it, this idea came to me. And you wouldn't believe. It might be controversial for so many, but I'm going to share it with you. So the idea was, the baby is right there. I'm looking at him. His name is Ozil, by the way. He's turning two in April. 
So I'm looking at him and I'm upset because, because I'm unable to exercise, I'm unable to go and run, and I'm unable to, you know, have my social life. So I look at him and I'm saying, what has happened? What do I do? I've become handicapped, sort of things. And then this bo boy looks at me and he smiles. <laughs> and when he smiles, he holds my finger. And trust me, when he did that, this idea came to me, oh my God, I have given birth to a human. There's this human being right in front of me. I was carrying him in my body for nine months. I am God. <laughs> it cannot come out like that. If I am God, if God is within me, if I have given birth to a human being, I cannot shed 90 kgs? <laughs> what nonsense. And trust me, four months, I was 52 kgs. <laughs> so the topic today given to me, ma'am, aap ghanti jaldi mat baja dijega. <laughs> She's busy, I can share my views. So the topic was, uh, the farthest the hill is, easiest it is. I think I'll take a 360 degree turn and I'll say no. It's the journey that's the hardest to reach that very mountain. Once you are into the mountain, then you are going to get at the zenith. Then you wouldn't think of how to deal with it, because you cannot go back. Now you have to climb the mountain. See? We did that, Gandhi. <laughs> For example, take, take this uh, International Women Conference. This is a mountain. I was in Delhi when I was uh, offered to be a speaker here. And I was like, Arre, baap, re. I have to go to Bangalore. I have to fly, I have to get ready for, you know, speaking, what I'm going to speak, where do I read, what do I write, how many people. I mean, I think that was the toughest and the hardest. And then taking the flight, getting up early in the morning, like you were going to see the sunrise. And then, you know, putting this lipstick and makeup and so much. Once I was here at the mountain, See how easy it is. I'm just talking and there's ghanti ringing and... <laughs> easy. So I think I'm not going to <laughs> take more of your time. But all I want to say is that everybody is struggling. You know, everybody's struggle is as big as it could be a mother, a daughter, a principal, a teacher, a banker, a swimmer, a reverend, a guru, <laughs> a nobody. Everybody's life is into this ocean of struggle, but let's have fun anyways. That's what I want to say.